presidency has elected the nation of another orchestrated smear campaign against President Muhammadu Buhari using some online newspapers and blogs. Mr. Femi Adeshino, the president's spokesman, who raised the alert in a statement in Abuja on Friday, said the campaign was designed to further exacerbate tension in the land by portraying the president as pandering to ethnic and other primordial tendencies. According to him, this narrative is contrary to Buhari's pledge to belong to all Nigerians. The statement read in part, the campaign scheduled to be launched anytime soon through editorial, editorials and purported special invest, investigative stories is designed to further exacerbate tension in the land by portraying the president as pandering to ethnic and other primordial tendencies contrary to his pledge to belong to all Nigerians. Impeccable security findings indicate that those behind the plot have procured online blogs and newspapers which are to launch coordinated publications alleging subjugation and suppression of a particular region, religion and ethnic groups. A specific medium has so far contacted some opinion leaders, especially those very critical of President Buhari. Part of the planned publication is to make unwary readers believe that the president has continually used the powers of his office to shield and protect an ethnic group against crimes of murder, kidnappings, rape and banditry in the southern, middle best and some northern states. The publication will also refer Nigerians to its 58-page document, which chronicles purported atrocities of the ethnic group in the south since 2017, all of which it claims the presidency has turned blind, blind eyes to. Again, to Achet's job, we allege that the president has continued to place members of his ethnic nationality in sensitive pos positions so as to confer undue advantage on them. This allegation is by no means supported with reasonable facts and figures. Buhari had on Thursday while meeting with the leadership of the Nigerian Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs, led by Sultan of Sokoto, Alaji Saad Abubakar, restated his even-handedness on the issues of ethnicity and religion. The president said, The federal government under my leadership does not and will not allow religious prejudice or partisanship to influence any of its decisions and policies. It is my solemn decision to be fair and just to all segments of society. Additional, however, maintain that those who were bent on stalking, stalking ethnic and religious unrest in the country had remained deaf to reason and impervious to reality. They are hell-bent on distorting reality and Nigerians are urged to be wary of them. It is all about the quest for power and filthy lucre. He added, mm. What did they? There's a, 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 a parable that is a, a clear conscience, fear, no accusations. What's it called being a trouble? Ask me, what is your problem? Mm -hmm. Like I've always said, you are not, it is not in your position to tell Nigerians what the realities are. It is the Nigerians who are experiencing all of these things that would tell, that will be able to tell the stories better. So I don't know why you're afraid. If you know that you have done well, and the people have received all the good things that you have done. You don't even need it. These are the things that have been ongoing since the man came on board. So why are you afraid? Did, I think uh, it is this uh, Femi Adeshino that usually tell us that uh, the Nigerian people voted for, 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 for them. And also, there was a time when people started protesting. We know the likes of uh, uh, Charlie Boy, Dejade uh, Yonju. You know, they were just so few like that. Few people like that. And when these people came on board, so, Shawore... And, and his group, when they came up, you know, people, there were not too many. I could remember Federation will come and be bragging. Say, can you see them? You know, just just look at the just look at the, the protesters. They were not even up to 100. Do you want to compare those ones to millions of Nigerians? That that the Nigerian people did not take them serious. You could see them, they were protesting here and there. They were not many. Were they even up to 10? I could remember, of course, most of the time, especially the uh, Charlie Boys uh, group, they were not even up to 10. If at all, let's say 20, 50, but they are not within that range, which is very, very minimal, minimal compared to over 200 million people. He was bragging there that Nigerians know it. 
The Nigerians know all these things that the president has been doing. So that, that was why they didn't ever partake. They were not perturbed with all this uh, protest. He said it on Chinese television. So why are you not afraid? Say Nigeria that you think they have uh, your support. But since uh, the answers protest they they began to got they got the message that it was out of fear people were not really coming out a lot of people have been bottling a lot of things in their hearts and answers protest brought out the the face of the government so if you think nigerians are on your side believe you me if somebody is nice to me and somebody will come and very very few when you have 10 people that you are nice to 10 people and people, somebody come and tell, come to them, them and begin to tell them what is not. If at all, even some people do not have conscience, but at least you have nine to yourself that you have touched their lives in one way or the other. They will never listen to anything, any form of uh, whatever that anybody wants to tell them concerning somebody who has been good to them. So if Bwari has been good to the Nigerian people, why are you afraid? Let them bring it. Let them bring it on. If they bring it on and it is not what the people perceive, they, it will bounce back to them. So why are you afraid? Because you were complaining or you were so happy, bragging that majority, majority of Nigerians do not believe in all these people. Everything is all power, power, power. Burari has the power now. Let every individual search your conscience and say, oh, yes, uh, this, this country has favored me. Oh, I complain about the past regime, but now this regime has favored me in all ramifications. Then let us get the percentage of those people. But let each and every one of us begin to say, express themselves how they are felt. It is not in your position to tell them what you have done. And don't be afraid. If you have done well, nobody is going to do anything to the president. Why are you afraid? But all that you have enumerated above are the facts. Is the president not at ethnic and religious by God? Yes. No rest for the wicked. That is what somebody is saying. Everybody can see the handwriting on the wall. So there is no need for these alerts. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, can you imagine the way they are embarrassing themselves? Niger let Nigerians let Nigerians know 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 the truth. Nigerians they know the truth. Fabi Adesina, you don't need to panic. Don't be perturbed. Nigerians love you. Nigerians they voted for you. So if anybody is coming out to say tell them what is not what they cannot see in reality, then why are you afraid? You don't need all of those. All of the allegations are true. <laughs> tell president to repent and deal with the criminal issues in the country. Additional, additional. I lost hope from all politicians when you you whom i have loved so much because of your standing on the truth from 2017 i thought that what happened between 2015 and 2016 will cause you to resign because you try to change them in two years and they refuse even when you supported them openly but tackling them secretly that you are among of the atrocity of this atrocity this the, uh, that is on that is going on since 2015 you people took over it's a shame to all humanity and even today satan is asking you to repent that uh, she can't be evil in this way to his fellow being <laughs> then we send them to repent oh my goodness so guys let's hear your opinion leave your comment below and let's have your thoughts